Dilla, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. And just if we happen to go live and you still miss it, right above me, right above me, right here, up here. This is where all the, the, the good stuff from the lives go, man. But if there's anybody out there that, that, that wants to make shorts for this channel or wants to make clips from the live, hit me in the DMs on Instagram, link down below. Uh, when the channel takes off, obviously you will get a cut of it. So come on, holla at me. Uh, Patreon, don't forget we do got Patreon, man. This is if you wanna if you wanna help support monetarily, that's the word I'm looking for. Just join the Patreon. <laughs> help pay the bills, man. And you also get to watch content that's not on YouTube, such as these things. Uh, don't forget we do also got the Discord. All the links to these is down in the description below. Let's get into it. This is Traffic Cops. Season 12, Episode 4. And if you're looking at my Patreon, like, oh, monetarily. Yeah, monetarily. Patreon makes it so I don't have to go to work and I can do reactions all day. You feel me? Not YouTube, Patreon. North Yorkshire. This is a season 12 episode. Hello, up in the VR PR. Yeah, I'll take a look. Three minutes away. 15 miles east of Leeds. North Yorkshire traffic cops Gav Pearson and Martin Hayes are three hours into a night shift. got a report of a vehicle involved in a, um, a collision. Um, I just believe the vehicle's driven off with some extensive damage. Um, there's possibility that the driver may be under influence of a drink. With rising deaths on our roads, officers like Gav and Martin deal with over a thousand illegal drivers across the county every year. We're just going to make his way to area yeah. so we can trace the vehicle involved. Just oh. a bit. Okay. First tire truck. Oh, there you go. There's a wheel. A wheel. Uh, just there. Uh, Damn. If you have a look, you got your white marking road. Follow the yellow brick road. If somebody hasn't reported an accident and driven away, then we are thinking that these are not normal members of the public. They've got something to hide. Drivers tend to make off to try and hide what they're doing because they're just after saving their own skin, they're not interested in anything else. Probably drunk. This is really odd. That's going to be where it's collided with them. Drive off that way. They have, they, have, they, have, they have turned off, turned off into the, turned off into the property, mate. It's going to be a hill somewhere, isn't it? The marks on the road lead Gav and Martin straight to a farmyard. Hey, where are the dog, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey. Hey, he told him, beware of the dog and stay it outside. We're going to have to see if there's anybody knocking about who might be the uh, owner of this. Lost its wheel and then continued to drive and uh, left a nice trail for us. Has somebody really decided that after a collision to continue to drive with such damage on it that how are they going to stay, how are they going to drive, nobody in the right mind would actually do it. They're opting to actually risk their life, members of the public's life, just to get away. There's only two things I know how to do, box. What movie is this? 
Everybody want to come out with a boxing movie after Creed, huh? Well, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't go. I don't want to see it. a vehicle that's been involved in a failed stop road traffic accident. Is it in there? Yes. Right. Is it down there though? No. Right, so what are we doing down there? Come out and speak to me then. Don't just stand there shouting at me. Come and talk to me and we'll I don't trust you. They're able to take the risk of running away from the scene just to save their own skin. So what else are they willing to do to get away? Can you move your vehicle? No. So what, what's the what's your plan of attack? One of the tactics is to find the person who's been the driver of that vehicle. Yes, I'll go with you. If you don't stop, mate, you'll get done for failing to stop. Should have minded your business and kept going, honestly. You're getting directed to stop by a police officer now, you stop. That, you'll stop. It, that ain't how it works. It is how it works, mate. No, 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 no. You're being directed by a constable to no. stop the vehicle. You're being directed by a constable to stop your vehicle. It is how it is. It is how it is. Matt, get a car. Get a car. Go on. Get into the car, mate. Go. Failing to stop. Yes, yes. It's making off. Just watching. What happened when you don't mind your business? This is him. Just put your full bit. This is him, innit? He's making off. He's making off. Yeah, vehicle is now failing to stop. It's failing to stop. It's gone down the country lane. It's a black Volkswagen Amarok pickup. A white male. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know Volkswagen made a pickup truck. Um, look like slim build with uh, fair hair. Gated at the end. He's gone into open land. He's gone into open land. He's uh, ran through a gate. Yeah, it's um, gone into open field. It's a helicopter. Towards the A63, towards the A63. Blue lights are on. Three miles away, Traffic Sergeant Tim Wilson is racing to help search for the runaway driver. We've got to be very quick to act, getting in position, tactically ahead of vehicles, but working as a team to try and intercept that vehicle. Even if the driver of the Volkswagen was the person who got with the runaway car. Like, why would you return and say something? Like, just keep going. Stupid. Oh. Clear left, clear left. Elephant Anna, not for 42. That's brand new, wet grass going out of field. Yeah, the grid is, we've just um, seen some um, fresh markings coming out of the field, um, heading up towards the A63. He's gone across those fields there. He's gone down there and then across the fields up that way. I'll go back that way then if you are going up that way. All right, mate. As other units continue the search... Let me know how you get on, mate. Gav and Martin head back to investigate the abandoned three-wheel pickup. I'll go have a look. What's going on at the night's place? Was it your place? Yeah, not my place, no. That's not to do with them. Yeah. All right. OK. If it's your mate's place, it's not to do with you. Right. So I appreciate you wanting to be interested in it, but we're not going to be telling you anything. Right. OK. I can't text them my place. Well, if it's your place, you want to get out of car and speak to us then? I, I don't need to. I'm speaking to you for a window here. Well, no, you can speak know. to us definitely. But Can't you? This is in our car. Martin, driver. Oh. Yeah, what, 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 what do you think you're doing though? Locking you up. All right, you're failing to stop. You're failing to stop at yeah. door, so it's not a locking up offence, mate. Happy so, Ram, happy right. Ram. I instantly recognised that voice, that I'd, it was the exactly the same voice. I'd been shouting out at the 4x4 pickup that I'd made off from. Listen, 
Right, right. you know what the crack is? You know what yeah. the crack is? I know the crack is. Yeah. One, you failed to stop for us. No, you haven't. Yeah. Yes, you have, because I directed you to stop. All no, right? I directed you no, several, you several times to stop. And I explained to you. No, but it's not no, the no, offence, Yes, so it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Sir, Failed to stop for an officer. Yes, it is. It's not, sir. It's not. I think you'll find you should check your law book. It is. No, it's not, sir. For some reason, he decided to say that it's not up to us when we want him to stop. This lad knows something about this vehicle. I don't know if he's the driver of it and he's come back dumb. My God. This is one of the dumbest people I've ever seen. First of all, we can all assume that it's his car. He left it there, got in a Volkswagen pickup truck, came from the, came across the front and said something. Drove off, got away again, got in a different car and came back. one and got in this other I've one never seen an idiot, or so is he trying idiotic. to you know, cover for his mates keep going keep going keep going stop well that's what you're going to get in it when they're all like this is what they're after isn't yeah. it you have to do it yeah. you're a bad bad open person. your mouth right you've had enough no, I haven't. Well, yes, you have. You've scraped the hell out of me tongue. I haven't scraped the hell out of your tongue. It's touched you three times. Yeah, Calm well, what do you down. want to do with it, like? Shove it down my throat? No, it needs to go you three can times understand? on each yeah. side. Yeah. I'll street. go on and tell you. You sound like Woody. I'm on the other side as well. Thank My you. mistake. Listen. You made off from us. I don't I have to stop for the police. No, I, don't. I asked so you to exactly stop. This is exactly why I don't have to stop for the police. You, yes, you do have to stop no, for the don't. police. Yes, no. you do. I, yeah, well, I okay. feel safe to do so, and I don't feel safe right now. OK, right. Yeah, right. so... That's uh, why you've come back to the scene. Yeah, with, me, with somebody. Twice. Yeah, but I've come All back right. with, my, with, okay. with somebody, you haven't I? need to grow up. It's late at night. It's cold. I'm in my flip-flops. I've got pig shit on my toes. Can't you see? Yeah, because you've been walking through mud in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because that's what kind of nice guy I am, and look what happens to me. Yeah. Yeah. The man's drug test is negative, but his friend has something he wants to say. The vehicle was in the accident with mine. Which one? And the, the vehicle in the village was yeah. just being in the accident. I was the driver. This pickup right. belongs to me. I told him it's not me. All I've asked to do is to take me to pick this vehicle up. So you're well, telling us you've driven it with one wheel in a dangerous condition, like you have? It wasn't a dangerous condition. It was condition. dangerous condition. It was missing a wheel, bud. That's a dangerous I've, condition. I've, I've literally just come with me as no, John. No, no. You're driving condition. with three wheels. Obviously, mate. I'm a bit right. pissed off. I just wanted to get it off the road, mate. The story was that it was late and they were going to go back in the morning to actually pass on some details, <laughs> which I kind of find hard to believe. I can't see as to why he'd hide the vehicle. Bizarre, to say the least. The man's confession means both suspects' illegal driving will likely result in a prosecution for each of them. Right, what's going to happen is, is then I'm going to be reporting you for driving without due care and attention and failing to stop for police. All right? <laughs> He's crying now all of a sudden. Your vehicle, Why do you care vehicle, and attention? Because you've gone off road and ran through it. Don't worry, my boy. Lola's coming back. Okay, dude. I have a, look, that's, have. that's a private track. I have permission to go it. down. Drive without due care and attention, it's actually endorsable, mate. And I haven't done indeed. anything non endorsable. I accept it. Failing to stop is no, endorsable. No, is it? Yes. Do you want to bet? It is endorsable. No, it's not. It is. You chose to get you sending this pickle to eat, not us. I don't care what you say. That's I don't, my direction. He did well, lost yeah, direction. I don't work for you. You are, okay. you are here to right. in, you, enforce the law. Yeah, enforce the law. So that means yeah. when I tell you so to you, stop a vehicle, you, when you say jump, you that's to. it. I, no. yeah, I, on the I, road I, traffic act, you have the road to. traffic yes. act, I stop when I say, when, no. I, when I feel safe to do okay. so. Okay. Right? right, and I don't feel safe no, to do so. No, you chose to do it because you're being an idiot. I chose to go and get some you but chose to go off road, did you, and ran through a gate? Bu, 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 bu. You are such a, an hard man. Right. Do you know what you are? I'm an hard man. I know, I'm, thank you. The driving display shows a total lack of consideration, and um, they haven't put anybody else to safety first. They've just wanted to save their own necks. Uh, one, by driving off from the scene and hiding the vehicle, and then two, for, for the other driver driving across fields and to get away from us. You've come back and told us you're the driver. Yeah, listen, I was always planning on telling you, no. telling no, no, them. Yeah. The, the issue is, no. I can see. You crashed into it and then driven off. So the people who's We've ended up having one driver reported for failing to stop at an RTC, another driving offences. Listen, I've been, I was trying to get you both attention before when obviously everything was going on before. Yeah, but he didn't I, need to be a silly no, no, just no, to no, drive I, off from us. The driver who met off from us um, being dealt with for failing to stop and having his vehicle seized. 
It's not going to be tolerated. They're going to get dealt with positively. Oh, Goodbye. Right. Shut the gate properly. Oh, okay, at least they let him go. Nothing's ever straightforward in this job. It's an idiot, isn't what? it? Bloody weird job. You can't write it, can you? You just can't write it. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa. It's track. Believe a word. I know my rights, man. Get away from me. Who you pushing? The drop. Me. Bro, got a got to the got to where he was going, spent around to check the car, then got away again, then spent around again. Like, what's wrong with you? Go to sleep. <laughs> Force control York. Yeah, we've just had a reliable sighting of the vehicle. Across the UK, 300,000 illegal drivers are caught on police cameras every day. The vehicles just hit a camera heading northbound. Mobile A1 North. Near Harrogate. Traffic cops Sergeant Paul Cording and Jerry Tunney are searching for a suspected disqualified driver who's triggered a police camera. We've cameras throughout the county linked to the police national computer. So people that don't have a license, anything where there's markers on for criminal activity. It is just a number of tools, if you like, in the toolbox to help us do our job. Inside lane and take him. Travelling in excess of the speed limit. As Paul follows the suspect in an unmarked car. And it's raining. Right. In white with a black ring. Yes, yes, I'm right behind you. Jerry joins him on the motorway. Lane three, speed is nine zero. It's flying. Oh yeah, he's giving it up. He going 90 and it's raining on the M way. It's this white one here. If it is him driving, he does have my supervisor when in custody with officers. Yeah, got that thing. This chap's got warning markers for violence. It's going through my mind at the time, you know, is it going to be violent towards us? Is it going to try and make off? Passing the white BMW, Jerry signals to the driver to follow her off the motorway. Did he listen? Paul and fellow Sergeant Leanne Anderson quickly join Jerry. Now then you're all right. What's your name? Why? Because I'm asking. What, what's up, why? Because I need to know who's driving that car and make sure you're licensed and sure to do so. Oh, they are, right? I don't see why I've been pulled. I've just told you why. What's your problem? You don't see what? I don't see why I've been pulled. Why? Because you're driving like a dingbat 100 mile an hour in raining. What? Who's in the car with you? Right, so you've got a kid in there and you're driving like that? I wasn't driving 100 mile an hour. Yeah. Driving... Oh, wow. I ain't never seen this in my life. I ain't even know they ever had this. They do not have this in Chicago. They should, though. Follow me. <laughs> Nicole, we got a power on 6143 to ask you for your driving details so we can check whether you are licensed and insured to drive the vehicle. Yeah. Right, what's your name, buddy? Name? Right, so you're disqualified, yeah? Yeah. Okay, not acceptable. All I'm hearing is, why have you stopped me? If that car had been involved in a collision, that child would have bounced about inside that car. The injuries There's would no car have been seat? catastrophic. It really annoys me. Sure, what's your crack like? The crack is, your car's been seized. You're being reported for a driving while she's gone At least let my girlfriend and, and the baby drive off. Like, she didn't know, she didn't know I was banned. Good, honest truth, that is on my baby's life. While the man is detained, Leanne begins a search of the car. It's too clean. 
Yeah, they keep stories. What do you still want? Really? Just relax. Yeah. Just open the Kinder Egg yourself, there's toys in them. Kinder Eggs uh, used by people who deal or use drugs to secrete within their person. The Kinder Eggs were probably for the child, but clearly when we started talking about searching, he, he went up a notch. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Who are you pushing? Who are you pushing? Trying to say something about the Kinder Eggs? Oh, oh. We came for the purpose of the oh, search. Oh. Can you quit the misuse of drugs act? Yeah, I'm sorry, Sergeant Anderson. Search me. Search me. Listen, you're not, you're not putting the cuffs on me. You're not putting the cuffs on me. Listen. You're not. Stop struggling. You're not. Stop. Listen. listen. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm just looking for, like, the male cop to come assert some strength into the situation, some more strength into the situation. Have a word with her. I'm Have a word with her. Not happening to me. This is not talking to me about it. I put nothing to hide. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Stop shouting at me. I'm listening listen. to me. But listen. But listen. There's kids, there's kids fighting them kids for eggs. There's kids fighting them kids for eggs, mate. Open them yourself. You can search me. I'm saying, 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 Y'all need to, hold on, 1935, y'all need me to show y'all what I'm talking about? No problem. Right here. Shoe, ankle, pant. That's a steroid outfit. Okay, well nobody say. Yeah. Money on them roids. Yeah, I know, but listen, she's not pulling you about like that. Right. Simple as that. Okay, let's just get it knocked up. He's cuffed because of his unpredictability. Now, whether his aggression is a diversion tactic, I don't know. But you think, why is he so anti us searching the vehicle? If there's nothing here, there's nothing to worry about. So I haven't done anything wrong you. for drugs. I've got a child. You think that I would be in the influence or like have any drugs while she's in the car? Think about the car or searching them. Search me right now and embarrass yourself. Then, and actually, I'm actually I'm 12 weeks pregnant as well. I'd prefer you not to to be doing that today. Yeah, do not put that square now. They both hyper aggressive. Oh man, I can tell a Chicago style hot dog from anywhere. Ah. Mm -hmm. Pause. You got put your ass where now? Damn! Man, had racks in that. Right. There's a substantial quantity of money in that handbag. Alright. Okay, so now you're under arrest on suspicion of money laundering. What do you mean? And you. There's a substantial amount of money. Yeah, nah, he got about 50 racks in that. 70, mate. He got a bag in So they're both under arrest on suspicion of money laundering at the moment. He's unemployed. He's driving his girlfriend's car, which he's not got a license or insurance to drive. Just doesn't add up. Man, that's crazy. They be pulling over people for having racks. I got racks in my pocket. Feel me? Without a shadow of a doubt, they were both coming in. Do you not have to say anything? It's, it's from the Do not mention it's not questions. my money. Listen, it's not my money. She talked too much. It's not my money. Like you admitting like something wrong with the money at that point. Shut up. Money. Not to with that. Anything you say. It's not my money. My God, please. Listen, you're not. 
You're not doing that. I'm saying it's my money. You can't arrest right. me, my daughter. Listen, in the car. just stay here for us, oh. right? Are you aware that your daughter's there? You're not taking her out of the car. You, you do daughter, not man, touch man. my daughter. They done made too many mistakes today. You going 90. You was going 90. You going 90 on a rainy M way. Carrying that much money on you. Well, you got to be on the speed limit when you're doing that type of stuff, huh? Which I personally do not condone. But you know, if I was to put myself in his step, in his shoes, I'd be. I'd be an outstanding citizen of the law if I had that much money on me. It's a good job you put me in the cuffs as well. I'm telling you. You are not taking my daughter. She's coming with her mother. You can't walk off. I need you. What are we doing with her all the baby? Arrangements are made to take the car and the driver into custody. Not take these off when I go near. As soon as we get to custody, they take them off. They'll drive, they'll drive gently. I'll zip that back up. Jerry transports the passenger and her daughter. We'll follow you down, all right. Between us, we'll transport the female and the little kiddie, because I think he's going to pick the kiddie up from Fulford. Yeah. Although we've got a job to do, we've also got a duty of care, and ultimately we need to make sure that little child's looked after as well. My thoughts are, why are you carrying so much money? Initially, they'd said they were going for a meal or going to buy flowers in Leeds. Well, I don't know if a bunch of flowers that cost several thousands of pounds. I, I guess $50,000 because I don't know what color, what, my, what note is out there in the UK. I don't know what note looked like what. It just looked like a lot. <laughs> Could be all singles for all I don't know. Thank you. With the disqualified driver off the road. Just lift your feet up at the back for us, buddy. The man is now facing a further driving ban and some searching questions about the cash in the bag. Based on information held and items within the vehicle, a section 23 search was carried out and a substantial amount of cash was located. That's in a crazy to me that they found a kinder egg in there. They opened the Kinder Egg, they seen it was toys, and they still had probable cause to search? That's wild. Like under the passenger seat. Both the adult occupants have been arrested for money laundering at 1522. Right, buddy, the colleague here is going to do a search. Money laundering? A body search reveals yet more suspicious items. He had six bank cards, so each one of those will need to be looked at carefully by our financial investigators. It strikes me as a perfect example of money laundering, putting money into one account, removing it, putting it elsewhere, trying to remove that trail. You sure you don't want to drink a water? Green tea, if you've got a green tea, like... Green tea. <laughs> While the couple's young child is cared for by a friend, they'll be spending a night in police cells awaiting questioning. Right, you'll shut the door and he'll pop your blanket through the hatch for you, okay? All right. They're currently lodged in the custody suite. We need to do Section 18. So that sucks, you know what I'm saying? Why was a gr the girl with him in the first place, the girl and the kid? You know why? Because they don't want to sit at the crib. You know what I'm saying? When you out doing your stuff, your girl always want to come with you. Well, take me with you. I want to go. I want to go. Well, now look. Now look, we all jammed up. Now how you going to bail him out, stupid? That was dumb. All right. Searches of their properties and the vehicle. Just it's a lot of things of, that wouldn't uh, not supposed to happen. Offenses they've been arrested for or similar offenses. Now we need a more detailed, slow time investigation as to why he's walking around. With he's supposed to go do that stuff by himself, and he's supposed to explain to her why he needs to do it by himself. My personal opinion, uh, allegedly. with a substantial amount of cash in, in his uh, bag under the passenger seat, which the passenger knew nothing about. This is Dad's table, not yours, Theo. I'm confused why they took her, though. Normally, like, if I was watching police interceptors, they wouldn't even take the passenger. They would have let her go and took him. Tad 
Podcaster? Why would you be stuck in the road? Was the initial just them changing plates? 11 miles west of York, traffic cop Mark Davey and Special Constable Josh Hill are responding to an alert made by a member of the public. We've just got a report of someone potentially changing some number plates on a vehicle in this car park here. So it could either be uh, cloning or potential stolen. Look how he got his arm. Your arm don't be in like that. Don't ignore me, silly. I'm not playing with you. Mate, I tried to engage with you and you didn't engage with me. I'm, I'm all fine right. there. I'm not Give me your hand. Right. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. You have to go that way, did What's up? We've had a report that someone has changed plates in this car. I've just bought it. Well, you might have just bought it, but any normal, <laughs> listen to me, any normal member of public when police stop them, yeah, but like really what defines normal member of public normal in whose eyes you don't know me i might not be normal i might be having i might have a diagnosis from a physician saying that i am not normal up here so everything i could i could be on the spectrum so all the yelling and all the, all the talking loud and all the all the the in my face could really affect me differently than normal people. Like, it, it's so many factors that could be paying that right now. Like, it's just the, all the assumptions. It's the assumptions for me. I don't I'll know. See you on the phone, with 19 years of service, Traffic Sergeant Rich Harrison is an expert in dealing with suspicious drivers. A member of the public has phoned us to say that it's two white males have been acting suspicious around a black Audi S5 and I've been seen to change the number of plates on it. And it is the type of vehicle, you know, it's a high performance vehicle. A male sat in the passenger seat, but he just completely ignored us and carried on texting on his phone, which just sends alarm bells for us. Have you got any idea on you whatsoever? I haven't, mate. No. no. Nothing in your pockets, any no, bank card or anything like that, mate? I have. Uh, you like to take these off? Or? Not yet, mate. It's a joke, mate. What's your date of birth? You can find out yourselves, mate. There's nothing, I'm not doing anything illegal here. So the one way that we find out who you are, who you say you are, is by you confirming it. You're refusing to do so I'm by not giving it. You I'm are refusing. Listen to me. You could make up any name under the sun unless you I confirm it. Unless you confirm it with a date of birth, I don't believe a word you say. Police brutality, innit? I'm no, it's right. not, mate. Oh, okay. Maybe for the database. Maybe you need the name and the date of birth to confirm in the computer system. I know my rights, mate. You've all surrounded me. You've asked me my name. I've given you my name. You've told me what I'm doing with the registration. I've just explained it. You're letting the circumstances dictate the next two hours of your life just to lose your date of birth. It's not on this. Right, you're not going to tell us. You're not going to tell us, mate. You're going to get taken to custody. It's quite simple. You've not got any ID on you. The way to ID you is by you telling us your name and date of birth. It's as simple as that. And if you can't tell us that, you're getting locked up. You're going to York custody until we can find out. This is brutality, this. This is proper brutality. I want to ring a solicitor now. Communications have gone downhill. He's basically refusing to give us. I don't think it's brutality. His full details. Now that can be because. I don't think it's brutality. He's reaching at this moment. I feel like they're using the the correct amount of you know. The correct amount of force. Is, uh, me because he's not got a license, he's using someone else's details, he doesn't know the date of birth, I mean, you know, he's disqualified, it's not his car, it could be a whole number of reasons. It's now been 20 minutes with no date of birth, leaving officers guessing the driver's identity. We've got old pictures of him on um, the system, he looks nothing like them. Part of me's thinking he's just uh, being stubborn, but then none of the checks we've made can confirm his identity. You used to look like that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, how old's that? About 12, 13 years Did old. Come on, let me have them. Proceed. So this is what we're struggling with. We can't confirm your ID at the minute, yeah? 
we need to confirm you are who you say you are. So we've done what you've said. We've run the details that you reckon, and all that's bringing up is that old picture. That's fine. Yeah, that that's not telling us that's you, is Why it? Isn't it? Have you ever been arrested before then? Yeah, but not for a long time. What have you been arrested for? Cultivation. When right. was that? A long time ago. Bloody hell. False, mate. I'm telling you. You're going to see we're wasting all, everyone's time here. Simple, mate. Simple, yeah. It was, so yeah. It was simple. I've explained to you what the plates was. That's simple enough. You shouldn't have to do everything else. The man says he has just purchased the car. But with him refusing to give personal details, officers I kind of believe I believe him. Officers have no way of checking whether he's telling the truth. I believe him. It's a decent motor that if it's been nicked, you know we're not just going to say to him, "All right, mate, on your way." You're not giving us all your details and satisfying us, um, but you can go. So it's quite frustrating. We should find out hopefully in about the next half hour to an hour where he is. Coming up. So you're going to see it? What I suspect to be cannabis. Is all right. Have you got somebody that's near me at Bassville? I may need. Tim adores his wife, but since junk sleep gave him a. It's a mattress firm commercial. Tadcaster. You're gonna see we're wasting all everyone's time here. Simple, mate. Simple, yeah. In North Yorkshire. Traffic cop Mark Davey and Special Constable Josh Hill have a male under arrest who's refusing to identify himself. Put yourself in. We're not 100% certain on his identity. So many people these days will uh, use friends' details and because they're so confident we're passing them, they're potentially then get away with it initially, but it's then when it'll go to court, then it then starts to unravel. I think the only way we will confirm who he is, is um, putting him on the fingerprint machine, because the fingerprints won't lie. You know, they're totally unique. It's like DNA. You know, it's crazy. I had a job where I handled a lot of hot stuff. So my fingerprints are never, not, I don't have fingerprints. It's crazy. Like you try to fingerprint me, you really can't get a good fingerprint from me. And that's not on purpose. It's just by chance it happened like that. Like I can, I can grab, or I used to when I used to work at this job. I could, really, I could grab hot stuff with my fingers, and they wouldn't burn because I ain't had no feeling in my fingertips from working there so long. It's coming back now, but still barely got prints. while the driver gets booked into custody to have his fingerprints taken. So we're just gonna have a quick... It's a crazy sight. Just walk through the front door with the suspect, no handcuffs. Search of his car. The black Audi the man was driving has been seized. Smell cannabis now. Bag that says ultra premium cannabis from California. But so you got a grinder. Telltale sign. Everybody smokes, that. man. Oh, it's strong like that. It really smells. What I suspect to be cannabis in there. There's a set of plates in there Personal that are on retention, so they don't belong to anybody. They're ideal to put on a car like this and go and do all sorts of crime. You can see there's some tape on them, so they have been used at some point. It's just been a bit arrogant or a bit naive, and you know, and look what's happened now. Back at custody. New information has come to light. He started kicking off. He's not the person who was trying to tell us who he was, and the car was borrowed off a friend. So there's no concern of a stolen car. He's a disqualified driver, and we can deal with those offences. So he's now getting interviewed. Inevitably, this will be even more points and a longer disqualification. You... I'd have been a terrible cop, because I believed him. <laughs> Do you drive the S5 to that location? The man denies driving the Audi, He's shown uh, as being disqualified from driving. Were you at court for that? And says he was unaware he was banned from the roads. Shouldn't be on the road. It's, you know, the idea of being disqualified and driving, it's just, well, ludicrous. It's a good job in the end, but it's just a shame that... He got his boys S5 seized. That's tough. It took so long to come to the same, same result. 
right that what a result that was Guess he did waste time. With illegal drivers costing the government around 120 million pounds every year. Five, five, seven, million per vehicle. Check it back to me, please. Traffic cops like Sergeant Julian Pearson are always looking for motorists who shouldn't be using the roads. Currently got no keeper details. Thank you. We just checked the tax database if there's no keeper. 12 miles south of York, Julian contacts Control. It is showing as on tax at the minute, 30th of September last year. Oh, lovely. Righty ho. Come back to you in a minute. So it's not been taxed since September of last year. Yeah, I'll so we'll have a chat with this chap. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Now then, you all right? Constable, can I help you? Yes, do you want to just turn it off a sec? Is it yours? The car? Yes. Well, it's not a car, it's... Uh, uh, You're acting suspicious. I'm talking about it's not a car, it's a vehicle. It is. Who what? The carriage of conveyance is mine, yes. The, the conveyance is yours? Yes. Right. Carriage of... The coach of con... con what? Are you on about? That's how y'all would say it. What are you on about? Let me, I gotta look that up before we go any further. Coach of conveyance. How does that mean? Meaning. No, 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 no. Coach. Hey, Siri. What does coach of conveyance mean? Siri don't know what she's talking about. The conveyance is mine, yes. The, the conveyance is yours? Yes. Right, okay. Have you got your driving licence to hand? I don't, no. You don't? No. And what's your name? Do you need my name? Yes, because you're driving on the road and it's currently shown as untaxed in September of last year. So I require you to provide your driving licence to me, please, and proof that you've taxed the vehicle since September. What are you looking up? Please. Have you got somebody that's near me at Battersby Rana, please? I've got a non-compliant driver. You just passed me your driving licence. You don't got it. Oh. Who are you on the phone to? I'm trying to have a conversation with him whilst he's having a conversation with somebody else, telling them what I'm doing. And it was almost as if he was being given lines to feed to me. Are you claiming to be a freeman of the land? So you don't abide by the law? You're claiming sovereignty? Yes. OK. The freemen of the land are a group of people who believe they have the right to opt out of conventional laws. That's a, that's a cool route to go, but that means you're also not protected by no laws either. So, I mean, hey. I've met people like this before. As a freeman, he's going to say to me, Nothing wrong I don't recognise the law, I don't recognise anything to do with the law, I'm a freeman, I can move freely around, I don't have to abide by any rules or regulations, and that's my right. I'm the executive of the other state. I'm the beneficiary. Right, OK. You're a beneficiary of the executive, but that's got nothing to do with the Road Traffic Act. It's registered with Cressida Dick. It's Cre registered with anyone. It's registered to Cressida Dick. It's registered with everyone. OK, so, but she is the ex-chief constable, isn't well, she, of the Met? Well, that's she resigned. Well, she's not you, is she? No. Right, OK. It's with the Lord Chief Justice, the Queen, Prime Minister. I'm no longer a straw man, I'm no longer dead. You're no longer the straw man and you're no longer dead? Mm. Right, OK. Clearly, he didn't want to talk to me and didn't think I had any business talking to him. You didn't need to get back into your own car. If you don't open the door, OK, then I may need to use force, which means breaking the window, which means pulling you out of the car. I don't agree. Well, you don't get a choice. I do not agree with anything other than letting me go. There's only one thing going to happen. That chap 
is coming out of that car, and that car is coming with me. Coming up. Okay. But how does this play out in the court of law now? Because he did, he did um, say he was a free man and say he's got sovereignty and this, this, and the third. That is recognized, but with proper paperwork, though, right? Everyone is searching for the right fit and the opportunity to make a difference, where friendships are full and students always come first. Selby. You just passed me your driving license. 12 miles south of York, Sergeant Julian Pearson is dealing with an untaxed driver. Right. Are you claiming to be a freeman of the land? So you don't abide by the law? Okay. You're claiming sovereignty? Yes. Okay. The man is refusing to cooperate with Julian and his team. He says he's part of a group of people called the Freeman of the Land and has the right to opt out of conventional laws. Just see if that door's open, Mike, will you? Are you a public servant? Correct. Right. Yes, he is. I'm travelling to the executive. I'm not interested in you being Cressida Dick, the Pope, the Queen, Boris Johnson, I'm not bothered about any of that. L listen, listen, right, because we've listened to you. I've never met you before, I don't know who you are, so I can't have the risk of you attempting to drive off, which is the reason why I'm stuck with this in my hand in case you do something stupid. Can you just pass me your driving licence, please? There wasn't an ev ever an opportunity where I was going to wave at him and say, right, off you pop and get back in my car and drive off and leave him. 15 minutes have passed. What's that? And the standoff continues. So have a quick look in the car. But he's now handed over some paperwork. There's okay. lots of letters written to Home Office, to Downing Street, and the contents of those letters were very sort of rambling, but typical of what you would see from somebody that was claiming to be a freeman. Oh, God, it's all one by John Bell. Ten four. Um, he's leaving us no choice, but I'm going to end up having to put a window through to pull him out. <laughs> We're tying up a lot. Listen, I'm not going to read this. We, he's giving us no choice. Resources. We need to cut to the chase and we need to get on with it. Before he um, puts the window back up. Yeah. And something in the window to stop him being able to close it so we could potentially then force the window down. Then it will go in there. There you go. That's not it. Uh, go on. There we go. Perfect. Come on, jump out. Yeah, yeah. No, you can jump out. Yeah, they got it out without breaking it, huh? Half half seven. We've managed to um, get into the car without. He did all that and still going to jail. Breaking any glass, we've extracted the mail. Are you willing to go see details? What can you take? No. No. As the man won't reveal his identity, Julian searches the car for confirmation. He's coming back on with a full license. You did all that and you was legal? I get that you, you, you were freeman and whatnot, but like you're legal. Just give him the license. It's over. Like, you got a license, just... Oh, the vehicle's untaxed. That's what we're avoiding here, okay. The only other thing to add is that on the 20th of the 1st, send a letter to South Yorkshire's Chief Constable stating that they don't agree with or comply with the law, quoting Article 61 of the Magna Carta. There you go. What about right. so-called taxing it? You need to tax it. Well, obviously. The vehicle will be seized on behalf of the government, which is the DVLA, as a government. To take it back on my journey now. No. And then, as you're saying, it needs to tax it tomorrow. No. The vehicle will stay with us okay. until you tax it. Right. But if you claim to be a freeman of the land, then you won't tax it, will you? 
then after seven days, mm. if you fail to do that, yes. then the vehicle will be disposed of. Right. Okay? That's, what's, that's what happens. Okay. So by the time you get round to writing to the courts, writing to whoever you want to write to, we will have disposed of your car. That's fair enough. All right. I'm not accepting that. That's fine. You don't have to accept it, but that's what I'm telling you. Mm. Pop yourself in there. Yeah. Put the seatbelt on. Just try and get a picture of him, Mike. Okay. This form here is from the DVLA. Mm. It's doing all of it. Mm. And it tells you what powers we're using to take it, how you get the vehicle back. Yes. Okay, and what fees you have to pay to do that. Right. Okay. There is a fee as well. There is a fee. Okay. The DVLA will, will authorise us to dispose of your vehicle. It's not a vehicle. Okay. It's not a vehicle, it is a... Coach... something. We're not here to judge people. However, he accepted a lift to the services. Coach of convenience. Oh, done. Job done. Now, I would have expected if he was a, a true freeman, he wouldn't have got into a police car. I, I, I think he was sticking his toe into something he didn't fully understand. Our goal is pretty simple. I want to help you get what's in here. He did all of that to, to get released. I mean, he did all of that to give it up anyway. He still got to pay. There are an estimated 600,000 illegal drivers using the roads across Britain. And every week, they kill 14 people and ruin the lives of many more. Finding drivers that make off is rewarding in itself. But this isn't just a result for us. It's a result for members of the public. Very often, people that use vehicles unlawfully will not pay their tax. It is quite a big problem nationally. And the best thing to reduce crime is to deny them use of a vehicle. Disqualified drivers bring drug drivers. They are putting other road users at risk and therefore they are wrecking. So we're just gonna have a segment right now of families' lives and then my colleagues have to go and tell somebody that their loved one's either seriously injured or killed. In this episode, the vehicle was in the accident with mine. Which one? And the accident. vehicle in the village was yeah. just being the accident. I was the driver. The man who drove away from an accident on three wheels has been summoned to court and is awaiting sentence. You are so going to get points and a fee. An hard man. The man who Gavin Martin believed failed to stop for them received a £166 fine and was ordered to pay £115 in court costs for driving without due care and attention. There's a substantial quantity of money in that handbag. Oh, right. Okay, so yeah, now this you're the case, suspicious of money laundering. What range you The man and the woman caught with an estimated 10 to £20,000 in cash in a handbag Sorry, okay. have been released under investigation, while a financial crime unit further their inquiries into suspected money laundering. Raining. You've got a kitty in there and you're driving like that. At a search of his home address, police also seized over £50,000 in cash. The male is also facing prosecution for disqualified driving. He's had a 70 piece McNugget on him. Snatched all of that. Driving and no insurance. Sure, take his phone, take his key. Nah. But this is brutality, yeah. this. This is proper brutality. I want to bring a solicitor now. The angry band driver was fined £660 and further disqualified for 12 months and received eight points for driving the cloned Audi. No action was taken against him for cannabis possession. Well, because it should be legal. Are you claiming to be a freeman of the land? So you don't abide by the law? He paid the fine. Okay. So you're claiming sovereignty? OK. And the man claiming to be a freeman of the land was fined £80 for no road tax. Do y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.